Call to camera Houston, the Saharan air layer, massive dust cloud, lots of hazy skies there moving across the southern U.S. on Thursday. Monstrous plume originating in the uh, Sahara dust in the desert there, traveling roughly 5,000 miles across the Atlantic. So big, seen from space. Definitely two things will protect us from the dust. Uh, wearing a mask will definitely help. Uh, at the same time, staying indoors will help. By the way, the dusty air is expected to impact air quality. The colossal cloud is expected to stretch all the way from Illinois, the mid-Atlantic, and will likely hang around until the middle of next week. So, Mark, as you and I were talking about this, you said tonight it was foggy, kind of hazy there. So pretty much new weather terms, uh, let's say froggy, maybe freezy. Which one do you like best? Uh, freezy, man. Freezy. Yeah, we we'll freezy. freezy. It's Copyright a that. That's ours. Uh, all right. We'll, That'll we'll, show up in textbooks. We'll call it We'll call it ours, Neil. That sounds great. Hey, hazy weather, crazy weather, going to continue for us throughout the weekend. Yeah, I want to show you this picture. This is from our sunset in Nacogdoches is a bit earlier. Watch the sun go down here. You'll notice it there just a little bit of that sun coming down. You can notice it because of the haze in the sky. And yes, it has been very hazy throughout the day. We've also been dealing with some showers and thunderstorms. All is quiet for us, though, here tonight. A couple of pictures to show you. This is from Deep East Texas, Lake Nacogdoches. Angela sending this one in. Look at this. This is not fog. This is dust that you see off into the distance there, reducing that visibility. Very hard to see at times. Here's another picture, more of a colorful look. This is from Grant in Nacogdoches along University Drive here. An excellent picture. The comment that was made here is that it looks like Mars. So you see the representation there just a tad, all the colors there colliding together, and that's exactly what this African dust can do. It is the thickest now, and it's going to continue to stay that way for the next 24 to 36 hours. And this expands all the way down near the Texas-Mexico border east of Interstate 35, stretching all the way up into Middle Tennessee and through the Deep South region. Let's track it for you now, and it will continue to be in place as we head into tomorrow. So if you do have sensitive health issues, you want to make sure that you limit your time outdoors, as we just heard from that doctor there. And so we talked about, too, over the last couple of days. On uh, Sunday, we will get a break in the thicker dust. There will be a brief wave of dense dust, but for the most part, it's going to stay on the light to moderate side. So Sunday into Monday, we'll catch a break. But notice what happens back in the Gulf again. Another round of dense dust will start to move back in, and we'll see that as we open up the first few days of July. So get ready. This dust not going anywhere. We've got a couple of rounds of it to continue over the next few days. Outside for us now, Scott are mostly clear, but we do have some cloud cover in the area. Again, of course, we continue with the haze in the sky as well. A few showers have developed over parts of deep east Texas from Shelby County down into Angelina County. Temperatures in the 70s and near 80. Some visibility concerns too, so be on the lookout for some fog as we head into tomorrow morning. Let's look at the weekend forecast. We'll also add the air quality from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. It's going to be in the moderate category both on Saturday and Sunday temperatures also rising as well. We should reach the upper 80s for tomorrow afternoon. We'll get close to near 90 as we move toward our Sunday, but I want to show you Sunday's heat index, just how high it could get. It could get close to near 100 by Sunday afternoon. So the humidity after having a nice break, it is coming right back. Hotter temperatures next week, lower 90s. Neil, we could see a pattern change next Thursday and might bring a front here by next Friday. We'll keep you up to date on that. Yeah, we'll see about it in the meantime. Time. It's about the heat and humidity, the dust, and an isolated storm chance. So at least a month of our hot weather season's done, right? Crazy, man.